Coach was just saying that Northwest have played a little different defensively than you guys have seen the last couple of years. What did you see or what maybe surprised you guys about the way they did? I just think they did a really good job. Um, I don't know if they've been known for defense, but this year uh, we knew we saw it in film and uh, with their numbers, uh, that's where they really improved and we knew that's kind of where they're going to hang their head on. They, they did a good job tonight. They defended us well. Tom said he felt you guys maybe got a little bit out tough by then. Do you guys feel that? Yeah, I think a little bit. Um, defensively, you know, they, they beat us on a couple of things. You know, once they scored on a play, they would run a couple of times over and over again. And they still found success, so uh, it's got to put a stop to some of that stuff. How about you, 37 minutes tonight? Was that, you know, something you were expecting or could handle? Yeah, I mean, I, once you're in the flow of the game, I guess you don't, really don't notice uh, how much you're playing. Um, so I, I didn't even know until after the game. What's it been like the last couple of weeks? Just coach was saying not really being able to focus on yourself, just kind of game prep after game prep. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, we really had maybe like one practice in the past two weeks. It's kind of been no, um, not much scout for that team that we're playing. So um, after a while, it, it gets tough. But um, that's you know, once you get the Big Ten season, still you know, it's game every two three days. So that's the way we got to prepare, and that's the way we got to um, get used to it. When you say not much scout. You not able to work on the other team as much or not? No, I'm so. saying on ourselves. We have to scout more often. Yeah. Did that show up a few times? You guys had some half court uh, possessions that ended in kind of desperation three pointers and the shot clock coming to an end. That's not necessarily characteristic of Michigan State usually. Is that where it showed itself a little bit? That was a really important time of the game right there. We had back to back possessions where shot clock, shot clock plays. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, um, you know, you got to have time to be able to work on yourselves and getting our offensive flow um, and maybe we haven't been spending enough time but still um, we've got to we've got to get things quicker and have a more sense of urgency especially at that time of the game. AJ talked too about defensively about the communication not being yeah. what it normally has been. How much of that has been the fact that you guys have been shorthanded with Malik out and Jaden out for a while? Has that been a big factor in that do you think? Probably. I mean, communication is communication. I mean, one guy goes down you still got, still got to be able to talk and uh, know what's going on. Um, sometimes when we're throwing freshmen in there, and it's it could be hard, but we got to be able to talk them through things and make sure that we're on the same page, even with even when we're short guys. Yeah, in the line 24 times. I yeah. guess. How did they do that? And in you guys, how do you kind of build on that to get more on your end? I mean, that's where they won the game. I think they were 21 of 24. So you know, we got to be stronger, going stronger to the rim, draw more fouls. But we get, we got to make sure we're playing without fouling. I mean, they. They attacked us. They got downhill. Those those two or three guards did a really good job of getting downhill and getting fouled. So um, we just got to be better. Nick, yep. So how would you characterize the mood of the team right now? Two disappointing losses. I know you guys feel you're better than what you showed in the last two games. What would you characterize the mood of the locker room of the team right now? I'm um, probably just disappointed. Um, you know, we know we're down, guys, but we're not going to really make that an excuse. So we just, we just got to respond. Um, you know, it's we got out tough tonight and coming on th on um, Wednesday or Thursday, whatever day it is that we play. Um, we got to bring it. We got to make sure that um, we get back some Michigan State toughness. In what areas do you think you were out toughed? Izzo said that also. Was it rebounding or just, you know, stopping ball penetration or what, what was it? Yeah, I mean, a little bit of both. Team shoes, 24 th uh, free throws. They're usually the more aggressive team. So I think that kind of speaks for itself. Uh, Joey Aikens coming back in today. What do you think about his performance? Yeah, it was good to see him out there. Um, you know, I don't know if he's on a limit, uh, on a minute restriction or anything, but it was good to see him out there. I know he's probably a little bit tired, but he'll get he'll get used to that. He'll get back in the flow, especially when he he's back. And then he had to sit out a couple games, so I've gone through injuries myself, so it can be tough. But um, you know, he'll he'll get there. When you were down three and you came down, uh, drove on the side for the two. Uh, was that the play call? No, it was just um, I was going to set a ball screen. Um, I was going to kind of just blur out of it or pop it is what we call it. And just got downhill, made a play, and I, th I thought I had a really good look and would have cut it to one there. So it would have been, you know, foul them and they go shoot some free throws. We come back down, but didn't go in. So it's kind of the way the game felt all night. Yeah. I imagine you're pretty eager to get back to uh, getting some improvement with this team, right? Is that what's kind of in your head and heart right now? Like, yeah. we, we got to get to work. Absolutely. I mean, uh, we were shorthanded guys, but it's not going to matter. No one's going to feel sorry for us. For us, um, we got to respond. And Penn State's a really good team, so obviously, 
uh, performance like that. I think I shot three of twelve tonight or something. So I, I want to get back and play again so I can just get out there and, and have fun with it, see those shots going because you know they all felt good. How disappointing is it to be 0-1 in the Big Ten and now the record? Extremely disappointing because this is like, you know, obviously we were disappointed losing another game. Um, I think we were really tired of that game, but. Like I said, can't make excuses, but we knew this was that we got to start. I mean, this is a new season. This is a Big Ten season. We've got goals that we have down the road that you know we want to win a Big Ten regular season championship. We haven't done it for two, three years now, um, and this was step one, and, and we failed. So it's 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 going to be tough. You know, we got to be able to recover here. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.